Hi and welcome to week 9 of World History 2. So, we will be talking about the French Revolution. We will explore five key aspects of this revolution this week um, that shook the very foundations of French society. We will start by delving into how radicals abolished the French monarchy. So, let us begin. So, late in the 18th century, as radical ideas of liberty and equality were taking root, these radicals, part of the revolutionary movement, played a pivotal role in the abolition of the French monarchy. They believed that the monarchy, with its absolute power, was oppressive and needed to be dismantled. In 1792, the radical forces, supported by groups like the Jacobins, led to the imprisonment of King Louis XVI, and the eventual establishment of the first French Republic. The monarchy, a symbol of the old regime's tyranny, was officially abolished on September 21st, 1792. So with the monarchy gone, our narrative moves to the reign of terror, a dark and tumultuous phase of the revolution. This period from 1793 to 1794 was marked by extreme violence and political upheaval. But what were the causes? The reign of terror was driven by external threats from foreign powers and internal divisions among revolutionaries. The Committee of Public Safety initiated a campaign to purge counter-revolutionaries, resulting in thousands of executions, including the king and queen. It finally ended with the leader, Robespierre's own execution, as his radicalism spiraled out of control. As the dust settled after the reign of terror, France entered a new phase known as the Directory. This period, from 1795 to 1799, was characterized by a more conservative government structure. The Directory was established as a reaction to the excesses of the reign of terror, with power concentrated in a five-member executive body. However, the directory was marked by political corruption, economic instability, and frequent coup attempts. It ultimately paved the way for a strong and ambitious military leader to rise to power. The French Revolution's impact on the nation and its people was profound. The revolution brought about significant societal changes. The Declaration of the Rights of Man and of the Citizen, adopted in 1789, laid the groundwork for principles of liberty, equality, and fraternity, which influenced modern political thought. Feudalism was abolished, religious reforms were introduced, and a new legal system was established. Education became more widely available, and the metric system was adopted. However, it was not without hardships, as the upheaval of wars led to economic strains and loss of life. So we will go on to the, in the French Revolution and we will discuss how a little-known uh, general, Napoleon Bonaparte, ascended to power. After a series of successful military campaigns, he staged a coup in 1799, effectively ending the Directory and establishing the Consulate. Napoleon's rule brought stability to, Flan to France and furthered the revolutionary ideals through the Napoleonic Code which remains a foundational legal document in France. He eventually crowned himself emperor in 1804, creating a vast French empire that stretched across Europe. So the French Revolution, of course, was a transformative period in history. We will get into the uh, details of these objectives that we want to cover during class. And I look forward to seeing you all and working with you this week. So thank you.